Hello everyone, this is Ella, your friendly advisor in Ireland. Welcome back to my channel, All Over Ireland. My last video was viewed by very few people around 3.30, but I know it's a very specific video for a specific segment. But you know, whoever watched that video, they actually personally messaged me as well as emailed me saying thanks for the video. Uh, and you know, that did help them in planning the kid future when it comes to finances. And some of the parents really had great plans for their kids and you know kudos to them and do watch it if you did not watch it you know i'll put it in the description or as a card here in this video i'm going to talk about irish healthcare system but not like other people but practically the five things i want to cover in this video and this video is mandatory for student or if you're living here or even for citizens uh and everyone to be honest because I know people, even after living in Ireland for 10 years, do not know how the system works. So the five things I'm going to talk about in this particular video. Getting a GP. How do I get a GP? That's the first thing. Second thing is health insurance. Should I have health insurance or not? If yes, what is the health insurance that I should be getting? Three, emergency cases. How do we... Uh, you know, navigate through the emergencies that we would have for medical bills. How do I get something out of it? Five, should I get the care here or should I go to India? That's the last but very important topic. So do watch it till the end. The first topic, getting a GP. I, uh, as soon as you come here, even as a student, my advice is to get a GP. I mean, when I say get a GP, it's basically register with GP. There are a few online doctors and dub doc and those sort of things for a few other cases. But registering with the GP means that the GP has your entire medical history. And that data gets passed on from GP to the public health care system. And if the public health care system also, you know, you, you went into that for something else, that information also will be there. So there is this registra register of all the information that is lit um, that is what you are now for last few years you are in ireland your blood test reports your surgeries everything will go into that now the very important part is it's very tough to get registered with gp because all the gps are full so there is a tool a gp finder tool if you i'll put it in the description right uh if you use that tool you can find the gps that are registered around you call them all right but best bet is if someone is opening their shop when i say shop you know their uh medical center close to your house or a bit far from your house they would have all the spots open and within three months they get filled so ensure that you also find that kind of news on your you know local facebook groups and try to register with them once you are with a GP, it's easier to move from one GP to other GP. Uh, let's say I was in Kimmage and now I moved to Newcastle Village. I was registered in Kimmage uh, with a GP. Now within Newcastle Village, there's no GP. So there is one in Sagat and he was fine for me to move from there to here because he's already getting all the information that he can. Right. That's not the case if you do not if you're not registered with GP and the GP where you are going to might not have your information. You need not be registered to be seen by GP. Okay. If you are registered with GP, it's easy. You can get appointments easier. <laughs> Again, I say it with a laugh because getting appointment with GP is also very difficult. Let's say I get fever now and I call them for an appointment to be seen by GP. Most of the times the phone doesn't ring. If it rings, I get an appointment three days or four days because the GP is very busy. You can understand uh, the accessibility point here. But anyways, you know, just for the sake of your data being with in one single place, all the history, you can register with the GP. That's first part done. Second part, the health incidents. The health insurance, a lot of people WhatsApp me as well as reach out to me over email asking, hey, can you help me choose the health insurance, right? And it's uh, difficult because there are a lot of health insurances, companies as well as 
types of health insurance out there and it it will be difficult for me to tell what is suitable for you but what i can tell is this is the way i went around my company gives me full health insurance okay and i my company also pays for 50 percent of my dependents which is spouse and my kid uh, the way i looked at it uh, i mean we also have an opportunity to choose the you know health insurance that you want the company was giving a default but i chose the one which suits my family the first thing if you are paying from your own pocket you would be thinking whether i should take public care health insurance or private care health insurance the difference between these two is the public care private insurance you pay very less like 40 to 50 euros per month and whatever bills that you need to pay to public care is taken by care by the insurance company the private care is almost three to four times the cost of the public care insurance but you can also submit the bills uh, from the private system i currently have it with laya in laya as part of my package i get around 300 euros free uh, per visit allowance and i can visit all the laya insurance clinics i can also visit apriya tala for emergencies even if i go to public care and that thing is reimbursed by laya right the first thing you need to think is should you really want public care you would really want public care if you get ill like multiple times a year and that requires hospitalization the general health insurance uh, i mean the general bills that you pay is there is a statutory payment of 100 euros as emergency if you do not have referral letter from gp if you have a referral letter from gp you don't pay the 100 but again to get referral letter from gp you have to pay 60 euros and public care uh, health insurances do not cover gp visit most of them some of them may cover one or two visits okay and then per day you spend 80 euros if you are hospitalized and you're sleeping in the hospital bed and that's up to 800 euros per year and i think the government had already scrapped this one or is planning to scrap this one i'm not sure i need to look at the previous videos of mine or the budget so you need to think okay does it make sense for to pay 500 euros per year on public health insurance and not getting any benefit of the public health care insurance yeah some of the um uh, visa spouse one g mandates that you have a health insurance so in that case you can go for public health care insurance but the other visas once you get stamped for you it doesn't mandate to have a health insurance right so but again think long term if you are under 34 and you start having health insurance the premiums on health insurance are not as much as if you take the health insurance much later in your life there's a two percent premium per year if you take after 34 that again you know when you're 40 and you want to take health insurance you're paying premium there that's fine but you saved cost for seven eight years also right but there are some illnesses which are not covered uh, immediately so you need to wait five years too so it's good to start early if your company is at least giving 50 percent uh, or paying 50 percent towards the contribution or uh, full or uh, some amount so based on your situation based on what kind of illnesses you can face like in my family there's diabetes and blood pressure so that can be a couple of things that can happen i mean i get tested every year in india and sometimes here so still not there <laughs> luckily but might be the case in future so if that's the case look, look at that if it, if, the, if you had if your family had cardiac or gene or cancer that kind of genetic stuff too take a look at that if you are if you play sports look at physio so based on the situation you are in and where you can be you need to take the appropriate um, you know private care health insurance so that's about health insurance health insurance helps a lot uh, but you will be losing money a lot you may not be getting the entire benefit too that also i can tell uh, if you are young if you are old you'll be getting a lot of benefit also right but in my case i took it for my kid my wife and my myself because my company is paying a bit of it as well as i think um, it was very easy for me to get access to online doctor very easy to go to apedia or laya uh, get sick letters everything for free so that's another advantage the third aspect that i want to talk about is medical emergency 
There are two numbers, 112 and 999, which you can call for medical emergencies if you want to be shifted from your house to the hospital, maybe cardiac arrest and all. Even with these folks, some folks get, I mean, you may get the van intermittent, sometimes it, take an, it can take an hour. So based on your illness, right? If it is cardiac arrest, they'll leave immediately. If it is, uh, you know, cut your hand or something else, they will take some more time, one hour, two hours, and they keep changing. Uh, it may be life-threatening for you. For them, they prioritize based on the uh, information that you give. Apart from that, you can actually drive to the hospital you can, without any GP referral letter. You can pay 100 euros uh, for the emergency checkup. And if you're hospitalized, that 100 euros get paid off and you will be paying the statutory 80 euros. And if you have health insurance, either public care or private, this entire amount will be you know, you, you'll not be paying any amount towards the belts. Let's say you paid the belts, which is the fourth part. You paid medical belts. Uh, you can get 20% off from the uh, from the point of taxation. You can submit those bills and 20, get 20% 20 off. I'm a registered tax agent. You can come back to me. You email me uh, at allaboutireland247 at gmail.com if you want my services or if you want to have a little clarification. There are also few schemes like drug payment scheme, long-term illness scheme, mother and infant scheme, and few more, which give you, um, you know, a cap. Like for example, in drug payment scheme, there's a cap of 80 euros per month. If you are buying medicine and it's co costing you 200 euros, 300 euros per month, you can use drug payment scheme and that you only pay 80 euros per month. This is helpful for people where there's a recurring, um, you know, like if you're a diabetic and it takes 200 euros per month, then you're doing only 80 euros. And there's long-term illness too. There are few things here where you can get for free too, right? And children under seven or under eight now go free, um, but again, it will be under 12 um, within four years. And there are a few more things here uh, with respect to belts, surgeries and all where you can get, get it for free based on your situation. Last but not least, India or Ireland. If you, if it's a dental case, right? If, and most, most of the people, even me, I didn't take any dental insurance for now. I'll add that component once my kid grows up a bit, um, right? Dental is very costly here, like 900 euros for root canal surgery. And it's like 10 to 12 times. Uh, I had a friend during MBA, uh, he went to India, got his thing done, came back and it was, you know, cheaper than <laughs> what it was in Ireland, right? Some of these cases, you can actually go to India and um, Ireland being small country, the skill set here uh, among surgeons and consultants is also not that uh, expansive. Uh, and it's also very difficult to get consultants. And if you have a knee pain uh, to get surgery in private, it will take three to four months. If it is public, it's like years. So given that we are in a lucky situation i'm not talking about from indian point of view itself but you know all thought point, I mean, if you're in if you're coming from your country and come moving to western world uh, i can assume that you 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 the medical accessibility within your countries is better right if it is the case only then i know think about where you want to be uh, you know some i recently i came across few cases where there has been some kind of negligence where, among um consultants within Irish public healthcare system and uh, that led to their deaths and you know leading to death is worse you know that's one thing which I'm scared of not even <laughs> cockroaches or even the higher being the only thing I'm scared of is death right so based on what kind of illness it is and where you think the accessibility is better you know choose that the other thing um, you know, if you have a private insurance here it can actually cover your non-EU uh, surgeries too. Check that with your insurance company and look for that when you're signing up for a private insurance. Let's say you the insurance that you took doesn't cover it. Then uh, the other question arises that, does it make sense for me to have another insurance in my, in my country? I would say yes, if you had started an insurance as part, I mean, EGA, like for example, I had, uh, my first job, they started giving me health insurance and I had that for five years. And um, 
and then I, ca I continued it for a couple of more years and then I stopped because I was getting private insurance here, uh, which had, you know, India coverage and EU coverage for the surgery is completely free. Uh, if that's not the case, if you already had insurance, I would advise to continue if you are not planning to, you know, have it here. Um, because uh, and if your plan is to go back to India, the insurance premium stays low for for years. And, you know, if you have some urgent issue, you can actually fly back to India and get operated on me and all instead of any for three months and two one months or you know, forever in her lap that's uh that's about the video the five things uh hope you like the video do like comment and subscribe instead of comments on email and whatsapp i would like to see it on the video so that you know my video also gets promoted by uh youtube uh one of the uh strangers today said your videos has full information uh, appropriate information but you know the number of views are less than any other youtube almost any other youtuber in ireland and i did not have any answer for him i just told him that probably i don't catch up with the trend but if you're watching this video do share this video like it subscribe it watch it multiple times even silent mode <laughs> okay thank you for watching this video Bye bye